Um, I want to show you this trailer actually had had a running light right here on the fender. Some trailers have that. I don't prefer it. I like a clean look on the fender. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to, this has got a various holes. That's where the wire went through the big hole, as you can see. And then these were mounting screws for the other holes. But by taking that off, what's that done is it makes this fender look ugly. So what I'm going to do is I've cut off, I got some scrap. Uh, this is some eighth inch by one, one inch uh, flat bar. I right, make it four inches long and I'm, and I'm going to put that behind there and it's going to actually cover up all those holes. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it back behind and that's going to give me a backer to be able to fill all these holes with welds and then grind them down. And then when it's painted, the finished product, you won't even be able to tell it's there. So I'll be putting this flat against there. I'll be holding it in place with these magnets. These are just welding magnets. They're like, they're like three or four bucks at Harbor Freight. You know, they come in handy though. They're not too strong, but they're, they come in handy for stuff like this. And uh, cause it's, I'm kind of out of the reach of a C clamp or vice grips or something like that. I'm kind of out of the reach since it's in the middle there. So by holding it in place with magnets, I can get away with that. So um, this is what I'm gonna be doing. I'll show you, I'll mount it and then I'll show you welding it, the fill in. And this, this applies to any big hole that you wanna fill. If it's thin, so thin that you're afraid you might burn through a lot and actually make the hole bigger, then it's a good idea to have something to back, put on the back of it. And that way, You've got something to build off of. We know this eighth inch um, steel is good to build off of. You can weld all day long against this and you're probably not gonna really burn through too bad. So this would be good to back it up with. All right, so here's what it looks like. I've got my piece, it's, it was four inches long, of my one inch steel. And then I've got these magnets placed to just hold it in place. Once the weld is in place on the other side, I don't really got to worry about this. I can take these magnets off once I got it tacked in because it's not going to move. Okay, so like I told you, I've got my grounding here. I've got my wire welder. And I've got that backed on there with that uh, one inch flat bar, okay? So I'm going to fill in these holes and then I'm going to grind it smooth with my angle grinder with the grinding wheel. It's doesn't take very long and the finished product, once it's painted and primed and painted, you won't be able to tell anything was ever there from the outside. Again, the little wire welder sure is handy. It'd be a good idea to get one and play around with it. Less than $300. And there you've got all those holes filled. I'm gonna build this one up a little bit more. I didn't get it built up enough. Right. I just don't wanna have a whole bunch of um, little holes that form from oxygen from the gas bubbles getting in there or anything. I want to be able to grind this off and it be nice and smooth and flat and that's what I've done. So now I'm gonna grind it.
Just like that, you fill the holes, uh, and the finished product is you will not be able to tell there were any holes ever there. So I hope that helps.